If there's one word that becomes synonymous with Jurgen Klopp's teams, it's the Gegenpress. The term the German manager uses to describe his high press system and the tactical approach his teams have relied on from his days at Mainz through his successful run at Borussia Dortmund and now with Liverpool? Put simply, the Gegenpress involves pushing high up the pitch with your attack in midfield the instant your team loses possession. It seeks to force the opposition into a turnover before they can start to build play, and when, if they lose the ball, they won't be set up defensively to stop a quick counter on a shortened field. It's all a bit more complicated than that, of course, at least when done well. To be effective, the entire team has to shift the press, not just the players when closing down the ball carrier. As the real goal, rather than to dispossess the player who has the ball, is to try to force him to play it to an area of pressing sides choosing. Against teams that play out from the back, the Gigan Press can do more to create quality scoring chances than even having a world-class playmaker in your side. That's Klopp's theory, anyway, and it's not just Klopp. Mauricio Pochettino at Tottenham uses a similar high press, and Pep Guardiola has introduced elements of it at Manchester City. There's an element of high risk, high reward to it though. They did surrender six goals to Roma in the semifinals after all, but it's also a big part of why they've gotten this far. 